Hey, Snigglers back for another video for you tonight. No, no live stream. No, no, no. Might do that once a week now. Maybe not even that. So tonight I got a nicely build of haiku. Yeah, haiku, haiku. As you've seen, if you've seen uh, haiku before, the actual desktop has changed just a bit. Now I've installed it from the live ISO. Okay, and installed it to, in VirtualBox for simple reason. You can't get a decent screen recorder for it. At the end of the day, yes, I can put another machine in and, and do it that way, but it's, I've got more things to do with my life, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to show you a bit more about Haiku. Now, the actual version they're using now, that's been the stable OS, has been around for nearly four years. But there is nightly builds, so I thought I'd run a little nightly build to see how much it's changed. And yes, there is a lot of change up here. So you only get home trash and where your hard drive is, which is the virtual box hard drive. Yeah. So that's all you get. Whereas before you got a lot of other things. I did have to change certain things, although you can install it no problem in VirtualBox using the standard settings. I didn't do that because the internet settings were totally atrocious. So I changed over in the VirtualBox settings to a bridged adapter and it made the internet faster. Okay. Although not too much faster, which is really a bummer. Now I'm going to show you some things a bit different, okay? Now, if you don't know Haiku, it's based on BEOS, okay? From back in the day. This could have been the Mac or Windows if it ever had the chance, but it didn't get the chance. Um, let's walk away and move along, okay? But these guys have been doing this for a long while. It's quite a big community, you know? So, yeah, okay. What's different? Okay. If I go to my menu, which is up here on the right hand side, I'll click the blue thingy, which is leafy thing. We get about haiku, find, show, mount, desktop preferences, etc. All the usual would fight. So just click about haiku. Let's have a look, see what comes up. Okay, it tells you what I'm using. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine to me. I'll give it an awful lot of memory this time for a simple reason. I run it with two gig and it did, didn't want to know really at the end of the day. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm using. That's about Haiku that I'm running now in VirtualBox. Okay. Okay. You get a shutdown system is here. You can create shortcuts if you really want to, but I'm not going to go through that with you right now. There's no point. Recent documents, it's going to be empty. Recent files. Oh, yes, yeah, two there. And recent applications that I've accessed, okay, just to test them out. Because some don't always work. Remember this is a nightly build, okay? Nightly, that could mean once a week. I don't know with the hikers people. I don't really know. I don't. I check in with them about once a month to see what's going on. And sometimes there's nothing's going on. And other times there's loads and loads of stuff they've done. But it just doesn't equate to the standard ISO you're going to download. Okay. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Do not download the VirtualBox image. Okay. My God, it is so slow and it's not really what it's supposed to be. Okay. Just. Download, download the um, normal one, the any any boot one, which is for uh, a thumb drive or a CD or a DVD. That's the best way to do it, in my personal opinion. Okay. Anyway, applications. Have you never seen Haiku before? Oh, so it's all a bit different here, isn't it? So you get an activity monitor, character map, Kodi cam for your webcams, of course, a debugger, a calculator. I'll open it for you. Here's a calculator. Yeah, it's all right. Now, as you can see here, can you see? Look, that's a bit different, isn't it? So, what happens if I do that? It gets bigger. So, that's completely different from what you're used to. And if you want to close it, you do that. Right, so that's the first thing you've got to get around, okay? The really first thing you've got to get around, okay? Back to applications. We'll go down a bit more. Disk probe, disk usage, drive setup, expander. The high code, oh, sorry. IQ Depot. Now I thought, oh, we're going to have a decent repository. Okay. So I signed up and everything. So I'm logged in as me. Sneaking around. Okay. Can I get anything? No. There's nothing there for me. Maybe it's one of the things they're testing. I just don't know. So if I go to tools, fresh repos. No, things are happening over there. But nothing's happening. There's nothing in the repos. Okay. Unfortunately, at least before we could go and download other stuff, but hey, they are still working on it. Maybe do. If you don't like what you're looking at, don't worry about it. 
this is how things work, okay? It's not Linux, okay? It is not Linux. Let's say that to start with. They work in a different way. And there's so many... Oh, there's not so many developers. There's so few developers, is what I'm trying to say there. That sometimes things take a long time. Iconomatic, what's that? Oh, make your own icons, okay? So it's a bit like Inkscape, really, isn't it? Okay. This is so much better than the last one I tried, actually. I tried a, um, a nightly build from about a month ago, and it was awful. Nothing would open, and it all crashed all the time. Okay. Magnify now. Mail. Okay. Should we open the mail client? Let's see what happens. So I've got our own mail client. Okay. So you can set it up. Mmm. Different. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Moving on. Back to applications. See, so I keep doing this. Okay. Right, get a media converter. Right. What I will say about this, the media converter is bleeding fantastic. It works super fine. So if you can get it installed on your machine at home, this will basically convert nearly anything you can think of. Yeah, it's one of the best in the business from when I'm using the standard build. Okay. This is a nightly build, so maybe not. I won't try it just yet. I don't want to go bang like the one the other night with Tiny Core when I was trying to install Pulse and it went, <laughs> it pulsed me out, baby. Okay, there's a media player, media player, P, wherever P is, I imagine that's a desktop application. People for contacts, poor man, what is poor man? Do we have a look? Oh, right, okay. So you can publish your own stuff in HTML on the web. Mm, fair enough, it's okay, isn't it? Okay, back we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Serial connects, done nothing to do that. Software updater. Mm, should I try it one more time? Okay, see, it doesn't connect. Which is a bit of a bummer, really. I was expecting a bit more, really. But it is, you know, it's in development. This is what happens in some things, okay. Sand recorder works fine. I've tried it on a real machine, it does work. Style, for doing style stuff. Tumblr. Get their own terminal. RQ shell. That's what it says on the tin. Mm, nice. Oh, also, you can right click and go from there if you want to. So, you can desktop, configs, trash, add ons, blah 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 blah. But, okay. Go back to applications again. TV, that's just for TV, but you have to set it up. Vision, mm, same sort of thing. Web positive is their browser. You can get Firefox and all the others for it. It's just a bit of a pain up the backside when you want to do it. Okay, so we'll just load all the crash. Okay, and this time it's fine because I've got no flash. I can't play it. Okay, and it also doesn't seem to be able to handle HTML5 at the moment, but it is a nightly build. But if I scroll down, it's okay. And um, it's not very clear. Um, the fonts are not very in my face. You know what I mean? So, oh, I don't know. But they're getting there. They're getting there slowly but surely. And I can't wait for the real build, to be really honest with you. What else got? That's about it. Oh, preferences. It's just usual here for the screen, screen saver, sounds, time, touchpad, track of virtual memory. If I click on virtual memory, it's allow allowed me to have how much? Two gig. But I've given it loads anyway. And it's not using anything. So don't worry about it. Yes, but if you want to give IQ a go, do not download a nightly build. Download the fully supported one, which is version 4, I think. Yeah. You can give it a go, even in the box. Yes, you might have trouble installing it, but once you do get it installed, it's easy peasy, and you might actually like it for a bit of fun. But hey, yeah, yeah. IQ nightly build. Those are.